In this video, we're going to talk a little bit about layers in Photoshop. Now, layers are, again, one of those things that makes Photoshop such a powerful program, is the ability to work in layers, to blend layers, to group layers, to use layer masking, all these great things that you can do in Photoshop because of the layers. So perhaps the most simple uh, way to start this is to look down in the bottom right here. We've got our layers uh, layers tab open. If you don't have that open, you're going to want to go up to window and select on layers because we really want to always have that open because we're going to we're going to always be working in layers. Even when you're cloning or just doing anything, it's always a good idea to work on a separate layer because it allows you really easily to see a kind of a before and after or um, to undo things, thing, things like that. Um, so a simple way to start here would be if we wanted to create a copy of our layer, any, any image you open is going to have a single layer, the background, and if we wanted to create a copy of that, we could just drag the background down here into the new layer box here, and all of a sudden we've got a copy of that. Now if we go ahead and do anything here, I'll just do something, something terribly obvious to this layer here. If we go ahead and make an edit on here, do some graffiti. We can see that that's on the top layer, but not on the layer below. So we can see how that works. All we have to do is click on the eye to the left of the layer to reveal or to hide it. Now, if we wanted to, for example, uh, make this awesome paint job that I just did on here, if we wanted to keep it, but we, we didn't want to see it at 100%, we could change the opacity of that layer. So here we can see that I've, I've adjusted the opacity and we can see that paint job to various degrees depending on my opacity. So that can be useful sometimes. Um, or if we, if we just wanted to delete that layer, it's easy to do too. We can just drag the background copy down here to the trash can. So working, working with a, a copy of the background layer can be a really useful way of making adjustments. And in a future video that you'll, you'll see in a few pages, we're going to talk about how you can use layers to do layer masking. But before we move on from this video, I want to talk about another concept in layers, which are adjustment layers. They're a little bit different than normal layers. They are essentially just holding information about the pixels. They're not actually changing the pixels that lie beneath them. Um, so an adjustment layer, you can come into the layers tab here and click on this little box here, create new fill or adjustment layer. Now why don't we do, we'll do a couple different ones. We'll do a levels adjustment layer to start with here. And you notice that once I click on that, it opens up the properties tab here. So I can go ahead and make some changes. I'll make some really dramatic, really dramatic changes here. So I'll really brighten things up, add some contrast to the midtones, come back over to my layers tab. Maybe I'll add a hue and saturation adjustment level. Maybe we'll really, we'll really fine tune this guy's colors here. And the nice thing about adjustment layers is you can kind of leave them open. You haven't actually changed anything with the underlying pixels, so you can always go back and retweak them. So you can always go back to the layers, double click on the one you want to work on and say, oh, I think I made it too saturated, so I'll tone that back down. Or maybe I, I feel like I want to go back to the levels and I want to refine the midtones a little bit. That's the nice thing with the adjustment layers is that you can always make them and leave them open. You could save your file with those still in there and you could always go back and readjust them at a later date. Now they will make your file size bigger, but it's up to you. For me personally, I usually flatten my images when I'm done processing them, um, but it really is up to you. In any case, it's a really good thing to get familiar with the concept of layers and adjustment layers when you're working in Adobe Photoshop. Um, Basically, if you, uh, if you want to get the most out of Photoshop, you really need to be working in layers. Another, another good reason to work in layers, let's say, for example, that I wanted to clone something out of this image. Well, sometimes you start cloning, and you're clicking away, clicking away, and before you know it, you realize that you haven't done a good job, and you want to go back and start from scratch again, but you've burned through your history states. Maybe your history states is set to only have the default of... 25 or, or what whatnot, and you've clicked 27 times and you can't go back to, to where you were. If you've just done it in a layer, you can just delete that layer, start again, and try again. So I really recommend working in layers. It's up to you whether you use adjustment layers or just create a copy of the background. 
Um, it does certainly make sense to work in adjustment layers because um, you can retweak them as you're editing your image. But at that point, it's up to you if you want to flatten the image down and save it or save a larger file type, but you can always go back and readjust at a later date. So practice with layers and it's really going to help your image editing.